Hi, I'm Butch from Baker Archery Products. Today we're going to be doing some twisting and stretching. I'll go over a little bit of the process that I use for twisting and stretching. I have my Baker Archery Products string separators in here. They separated all of the colors. They help a lot during the twisting process. So let's get started. Here we're getting ready to twist. A few things I want to address first is when you're twisting you want to let your poundage down on your stretcher probably less than 100 pounds because as you're twisting it'll want to gain poundage and you don't want to gain a whole lot so what I like to do is loosen the front lever on my stretcher and then once I start twisting I can let it go real easy anyway you'll see we got to do 24 twists 3, 4, 5, 6 And after 20 twists, we've added about 100 pounds. So we'll set the anti-twist in there, loosen it up a little bit. And it's about time to remove our string separators. We put two, uh, well there's four strands of the fluorescent green, just kind of for effect. We'll add a few more twists. Usually on the very ends you're serving, or your twists aren't that perfect, but you're serving all the way up to here anyway. But everything in the middle looks pretty good. This is where I would add some uh, pounds to it. I'll tighten my stretcher back up, and I'll add about a couple hundred pounds. See, it's kind of bumpy. They call it ropey. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of ropey. You can take your uh, a spare piece of material. This is called burnishing. Kind of removes the excess wax. You kind of need some wax, but... Kind of makes your bundle round. Anyway, we've kind of burnished it a little bit, and we'll want to stretch it. This is uh, Fury. Probably an hour, hour and a half would probably be good. So I'm going to stretch it up to 400 pounds. The whole time I'm checking, making sure everything's square. My T-nuts are where they're supposed to be. There's 400 pounds of tension on there. You come back in an hour, hour and a half, you should be pretty good. A lot of people, they stretch for 24 hours. To me, I don't have that kind of patience. But some of these guys are warranting their strings for over a year against peep rotation. And me, I just build another string. So that's kind of up to you. Anyway, we'll let her sit right here. So here we have our uh, string stretching I wanted to talk a little bit about a few different techniques. On the pinstripe strings, some people will relax it and they'll run an extra piece of string and they'll pull the, the pinstripe out to the, the outer side of the string so it pops a little bit more. This being a demo string, I'm not going to do that. But what I would like to talk about is a little bit of safety when you're stretching at 400 pounds. The unistrut has to be very stiff. I have this mounted to a 2x6 and lag bolted every fourth hole. The lag bolts are 5 sixteenths, two and a half inches long with a flat washer on. This is 400 pounds, or we'll crank her back up to 400 pounds. If this thing flexes at all, it will flex the unistrut like this, and the string will migrate up these pins and hang at these catches up here and bend your, bend your pins. So I can't stress enough on how stiff your unistrut has to be. You can use like two by two rectangle steel tubing, probably eighth inch wall, probably handle it. But just for simple, easy use, and you can go to Home Depot and purchase all of the parts you need here. I have this mounted on the cheap $6 sawhorse that I got 
sawhorse brackets that I got from Home Depot. You can cut the 2x4 so the length fits you. You're 6 foot 8 or 5 foot 2. Anyway, I'd like to thank you for viewing my video. Our next video we're going to do serving. I like to do these short videos so you don't get so lost in the detail. You can go back and uh, review them. Anyway, have a good day and thank you.